I'll be right over. Hello everyone and welcome to New Horizon 5 Seasonal Summary Episode. The new Series 14 Summer has arrived along with the chance to get some new cars besides the other seasonal rewards. Details and timestamps are in the video description while any of my teams can be found by my gamer tag. Darksider9229. Also for more help and share codes you can always join the Discord server, the SOSG club or check the video details and community posts. And if this helps, remember to like and subscribe for more, your support is much appreciated. Thanks. With a new season comes a new Horizon story, the Donut Media one. Which has 5 chapters of 3 stars each, and you have a whole month to get them. Roughly, if you focus, it takes at most 20 minutes to get 3 stars on all of them. Next we have the other two monthly events, which are the monthly rivals. Where all you have to do is post a clean lap, that means no crashing and no rewind is allowed. With then done, we can now jump to this week's Forza Ton, where we get to drive the 2004 Subaru Impreza. For the second chapter you'll have to win a dirt race, where you can use either a standard map event or a quick blueprint like this one. For the third chapter all you have to do is take a picture of your Subaru. So wherever you are just take out your camera and snap a picture of it. As for the fourth you'll have to earn 3 stars through trailblazers. One of the easiest I use is this one over here, where you can go down the highway and straight into it, and that way you'll most probably, no matter what car you are driving, will get at least 3 stars. The Forzaton shop of this week brings a few more stuff in case you don't own them yet, like the new Donut Media Black Jumper. Well the reward of the Horizon Super 7 of this week is only a super wheel spin, so not really worth it. For the trial we get to drive 800 anything goes for the Aventador from 2012. But here I used my 2010 TT, given it's anything goes, but you can use whatever you want because as you can see the drive avatars are really easy. This was just a walk in the park and I can say we haven't had such an easy trial in ages. With that done, you can then do this week's event lab in 800 Sports Utility Heroes, which is again very easy, somehow ent entertaining, but with no drive avatars yet again. I would really see these event labs more like time trials for rivals, but looks like turn 10 doesn't have the same vision. Then, the PR stunts of this week starting with Eagle Spurge, where you need to jump 430 meters in any S2 car. This is not as difficult as you need a specific car that would make the jump, but actually the difficult part is to avoid all the trees and other things that can fail your challenge. So I'd recommend to try and go as much as you can for the left side. Next it's Paso Inferior Speed Trap. Where if you try to go from up the hill, you'll have a really bad time, as you won't make the speed. But instead what you should do is go from down the highway and cut through the field towards the speed trap. Then for the treasure hunt of this week, all you have to do is get a 2020s car and do some donuts for an ultimate burnout. But before that let's also see the PR stunt of Hot Wheels, where I used my 2019 Carrera S. So quite an easy one. Going back at the treasure hunt, as I was saying, a 2020 car is required and you have many to choose from. Then all you have to do is just start spinning until you get an ultimate burnout. As soon as you did that, you can find the treasure chest here. Right down the intersection with the highway. 
For the photo challenge, switch to the Stereon SER Mitsubishi and go down Hotel Castillo where you need to take a picture of it, along with the castle. For the horizon open, it's easy, all you need to do is earn 20 drift or e-drift skills, that means any of them, even average, ultimate or standard one. Start the championship from here, make sure you earn 20 drift skills in the first race and as soon as the second one starts, you can just leave the championship. With everything else done, we can now switch to the weekly championships, starting with B700 retro sports cars. Here I used the 93 Skyline and all I did was to try and avoid the drive avatars as they were quite hectic. Well, about 10 seconds to get in front. Next there's the C600 Vance and Utility Championship. Where all I can say is don't use a stock El Camino like I did as you'll have a pretty bad time off-roading it. For the second race, if you don't tune your car, things will get even worse. And lastly, there's buff horses in S900 Mustangs. Where I've used a handlingless Mustang with way too much horsepower. You can say that didn't go great or terrible, of course, until I missed the checkpoint. As for the Hot Wheels Joy of Cars Championship, it's S2 Anything Goes. And that means you can use million of credit cars in order to win the BMW Isetta. And with that, we sum up the summer of the new Series 14 seasonal playlist. Thanks to everyone that managed to join tonight, it has been a pleasure as always. If this helps, make sure to like and subscribe for more, your support is much appreciated, thanks. See you on Thursday Friday with the next completion summary for Atom along with its new additions to the game. But until then, thanks for watching and have fun racing.